Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you guys are here. It really is starting to feel like fall. It is cold enough in Florida to wear a sweater and maybe order some hot coffee and college football is in full swing. My Michigan Wolverines just beat Penn State so I'm having a great Saturday and I hope you guys are too. I just want to jump on here and do a little eye makeup tutorial with some Laura Mercier caviar sticks. This is one of my favorite time of the year to buy makeup because everything is miniature. Everything is travel sized. You can get smaller versions of the products that you've been wanting to try forever for an inexpensive price point and if you don't like them then it's not like you wasted a ton of money on them to begin with but if you do like them then not only do you have a travel size version you can go and get the full size version when there's great holiday sales and deals to die for <laughs> so let's jump right in i am going to take off my glasses um if you guys saw my video last week on doing eye makeup for glasses. I really hope you guys check that out because it's one of my favorite things. Um, I am just going to jump off camera and do some of the basics that I do before I start my eye look and maybe we'll go all the way with this one. Maybe we'll do a full face. It is Saturday so maybe I should do something fun tonight with this makeup look but I'm going to definitely start with the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Sticks because I was scrolling on Nordstrom on their app today and I saw a lot of really great Laura Mercier mini sets for the holidays. So that kind of inspired me to jump on here and do this little video for you guys. Because it is starting to feel like fall, I am going to do a little bit of a fall smoky eye, just something for fun for a Saturday night. If you check out the eye makeup for glasses tutorial that I did last week, um, you'll know I've done a couple of the steps already. I have put some concealer under my eyes and um, eyeshadow primer on my lid, a little bit of foundation, and then um, if you guys have never tried Laura Mercier products before, um, they do really great holiday sets like I mentioned in the intro. Um, I always like to stock up during the holidays because I do travel a lot and so it's really nice to have these little sizes when I need to pack a small bag overnight taking a flight um, and I don't have the luxury of checking my bags. So when you're really limited for space, you really need to maximize the impact of the products that you're bringing. And I find that a lot of Laura Mercier products are really versatile. So this mini size of the Laura Mercier translucent powder that everybody's obsessed with for baking or for all over, um, you can get this right now during the holidays. So I, I'm going to focus not just on Laura Mercier, but on different brands that I have found great 
minis during the holidays. So that's going to be um, Laura Mercier, obviously, Marc Jacobs, another brand that I love. That's how I found my mascara that I'm obsessed with from Marc Jacobs was because they did a really great holiday set last year and I managed to snag one or two in January. <laughs> um and have used those ever since so um i have this tiny version of my mascara that i can take and travel with um tiny version of their eyeliner like it's really great just to have these and this is the Laura Mercier eye caviar stick that i used in the last video um talking about how you could use it all over your eyelid as a primer or do it under your eye as a liner. So I'm going to show you some of those techniques today. But let's get this Laura Mercier translucent powder under the eyelid because these caviar sticks, they're not a powder. They're not a liquid. They're almost like a lipsticky kind of paste. Um, it's a really thick line that you can get from it, but if you know how to work with the product, it's really easy to manipulate it and get it to do the things that you want it to do, but also you can blend it while it's still a little damp. So if you're quick about it, you can get a lot of different looks really easily with just this super easy to apply stick. So this is going to be a smokier look than what I did the other day with the eye makeup for glasses tutorial. Um, I may or may not wear my glasses over the top of this, so I like to make sure that um, I can still have the same wearability and the same um, locked in kind of feeling because when I do wear my contacts I like to wear um, sunglasses obviously living in Florida it's bright and sunny most of the time and I do like to have that option I have a great sunglasses collection that I don't wear enough because I'm usually wearing my glasses um, but it, the same kind of concepts the same philosophies will work for your sunglasses as well. So if you're wearing sunglasses for a long period of time, like you're gonna be outside or something like that, then you wanna make sure that you have that powder underneath to absorb that moisture from the heat that's gonna be trapped between your skin and the glasses and the lens. So now that we've done some powder, we have the eye primer, we have concealer, a little bit of foundation to get started. Um, I'm gonna start with the Eau Naturel shade um it's super basic not in a bad way um there's not a ton of shimmer so it's just a really great color to start with when you're working um on a look that's maybe going to be a little bit more intense um it's always good to have something neutral underneath so you can blend into that So I'll do that all over and then really truly while it's still a little bit damp and can move around, I'm going to take my finger and just smudge it around and blend it out. And that's really the trick with these Laura Mercier eye caviars is speed. And most people like to take their time with their eye makeup. They like to, you know, get in there with their brushes and really work on the look. But because these set so quickly, you want to make sure that you are moving just as quick. And so that can make it feel like it's a little bit more difficult to use. But once you get used to the texture of this and how quickly it dries, then your look is going to come together that much faster. Okay, I just 
moved my hair clip and broke it and I couldn't find any other one so we're just gonna have to deal with my hair being in my face. It is what it is. So now that we have the um, all over color I am gonna go in with a little bit more of a shimmery color um, because this is one of my favorites and I just love a good like shimmery champagne look to amplify your eye area and we'll use this one pretty frequently. So I used this champagne-y kind of color um, on my lid all the way to my lash line and then underneath my lash line on the bottom lid because we want to start building up to that kind of cool, smoky, um, plummy, beautiful color that we're going to try to get in this look um, just using the caviar sticks. And then also I am going to pop this with a little mini Marc Jacobs and a little mini Kat Von D tattoo liner. If you guys remember from the tutorial about eye makeup with your glasses, I like to do the combination so that then you get that really full lash line and it's gonna lock in place. Always lessen the smudging. However, in a smoky eye look, you can kind of make it work if you're out and you notice that your makeup is smudging but who wants to be worried about their makeup when you could be worried about having a fun night out and if you guys do remember from the eye makeup for your glasses tutorial my technique is to place your color and then blend and we're going to do the exact same thing with the Laura Mercier caviar sticks it's just that we're going to use our fingers a little bit more that's one of the other reasons why I love these caviar sticks is because um you don't need to have a ton of tools in order to do it. You could really just use your hands and be perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go in with a light little bit of this darker, smokier color. Tiny bit, place it in there and then blend it out. So we went in with a little bit of that smokier color, really lay the groundwork and the base for going in with our liner. Um, this is a great opportunity if you have a smaller, stiffer brush, you can use this to go in and blend out. I really like to do this with a smoky eye technique. Also, I'm using my middle finger to um, tap and blend with the Laura Mercier eye caviar because that is how you're gonna get the least amount of tension on your eye. There's some kind of scientific study out there that says that the least amount of pressure that you can apply with your fingers is through your middle finger so you're not really ever going to poke yourself in the eye if you just use your middle finger to flutter over top of that lid. So you can already see that the lash line is starting to look a little thicker. We're going to go in with this plummy kind of color that I love. Um, nice and soft, a little bit of color. I'm going to do a small V in the outside corners of my eyes and blend that in a little bit and out a little bit. And that's how we're gonna get that smoky eye that we want um, that is so elusive and people get super obsessive over. <laughs> So 
So you can definitely tell that this is not the finished product. It's definitely a work in progress. You can see there's um, some product buildup in these lower corners that we don't want to have um, because of that V. And then again, using your fingers to blend it out um, will get you a little bit of that dip down here. But because we have that layer of powder and concealer, you can go in pretty quickly and easily with just a little bit of makeup remover and a Q-tip and clean that up. Um, I know some people who will actually do their smoky eyes with a little piece of tape right there or a post-it. Um, there's all kinds of different crazy ways that you can do it, but I'm old school. I really just prefer a tiny bit of makeup remover on a Q-tip. So if we get really close in here, you can see that we have done a little bit of that smoky plum with the charcoal on the outside edges. And then we've lost some of that shimmery pop. So because the caviar stick is so precise, you can just go in and add it to the outside corner and the middle of your eyelid to get that little bit of shimmer and pop that we want. So I also went in and put in that highlighter. Um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the champagne underneath. So then because we have this really great plum and I absolutely love it, I'm going to use the thinnest spot of the caviar stick that I can possibly find and smudge it into my lower lash line. And then, working really quickly, I'm going to use that stiff brush and stifle it and smudge it even more. So I just went in with a little bit of extra concealer. Um, that's why I like to do that light layer of concealer before we get started so that you're building on something that's already there and then you can clean up afterward. So we are just gonna go in and finish off the rest of this look with some mascara and liquid liner on the top of the lash line on the upper lashes. Remember, liquid eyeliner senses fear. So you just have to go in and be super fearless about it. I did do a little bit of a dramatic wing. I know I said I don't typically do that if I'm going to be wearing my glasses, but still to be determined, I probably won't wear my glasses with this because I really like this look and how it's turning out. So I'm going to pop off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and then I will show you guys the final results. Okay, so here we have it. A full look using nearly all travel size, holiday size, stocking stuffer size, whatever you want to call it, mini versions of some of my favorite products from Laura Mercier, MAC, and Marc Jacobs. Actually, my setting spray, um, they had a holiday size, travel size version from Urban Decay last year. So this really is the best time of the year to branch out, try some new things, um, test out that lip color that you are not 100% sure about. Um, MAC has some great lipstick sets. You can get a dozen small travel size colors that you can mix into your current routine and just try something new with a very low price point. So it's a great way to try some of those color cosmetics that maybe you 
are hesitant to try or something that you've had your eye on for a long time but maybe it's too expensive so it's a great opportunity to stock up and see what else is out there in the beauty world so i hope you guys enjoyed this look with the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Sticks. I had so much fun putting it together for you guys. If you haven't already, definitely like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to do a special blog post on the website with all kinds of gifts for the beauty lover in your life, for maybe a significant other, or just that person who's hard to shop for. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely head on over to the blog and check that out. Thank you.